All right, without further ado, let's uh, get the show on the road. Let's talk about the new high performance dual operating systems uh, to you enterprise NAS from QNAP. Okay, uh, and what we're talking about today is the TS85U series. Okay, and it's it's a new system, it's a new dual operating system, and we're going to talk about the dual operating system and why that is important and how that's going to help us out uh, in in meeting our storage needs. Okay, we're going to talk about two systems today. Okay, both these systems in the 85U series. First, we are going to talk about the TS3085U system, okay? And that system is here, and you can see it here. Uh, we are talking about this system, okay? Uh, TES3085U, okay? It's a 2U rack system, as you can see here. In the front of the system, it comes with 24 2.5, well, actually, you could install 24 2.5 SAS 12 gig drives in it, or you can use SATA drives as well, 6 gig SATAs, and those can be um, standard uh, HDD or SSD. Uh, either option is fine. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the TES-1885U pictured here. And as you can see here, this, is, th this system is a 12 hard drive system. There's 12 in the front, Okay, and this one comes as well with 6 the 12 in the front can take uh, 2.5 drive size drives, 2.5 and 3.5 relative size, and those can be a SAS uh, 12 gig or SATA 6 gig. And as you can see, the horizontal size, it's a size of full size H, uh, uh, standard hard drive. It takes six 2.5 SATA SSDs in the back, and those are 6 gig. Okay. The same thing. The same thing as the 3085U. This one can take six in the rear as well. Okay, and those are 2.5 SATA six gig SSD drives as well. And we're going to talk about those form factors, those form factors, and how it kind of relates and how you play part in the storage systems. It's the first high-performance dual operating NAS for enterprise. We're going to talk about its performance, then talk about the right options for you and how to choose a system, and how it can expand, and then the operating systems, the QES and the QTS. So let's talk about performance. The systems come with an all-new generation Intel CPU, and these are available in either four, six, or eight core Xeon D CPUs. They're high capacity system RAM, and this can go up to 128 gigs of either ECC or non ECC RAM. And both systems, the 1885U, the TES 1885U, starts at about 47.99, so about $4,799 is starting price where the TS3085U starts at about $6,699. Expandability. The expandability of the systems come with four PCIe slots for either NVMe PCIe SSDs or 10 gigs or 40 gig NICs and expansion units as well. It supports the operating systems of the QES and the QTS. Now, the QES is a ZFS file system with enterprise class storage features. The QTS is a Linux operating system, all-in-one application, standard with most QNAP systems. An ideal backup desti destination excuse me, for the ES1640 DC V2 system, the dual controller system. Product. Let's take a look at some of our products and how the uh, the TS fits um, in the scale and the positioning of the products. Okay, we'll start at the very top, the enterprise systems. And as you know, the enterprise systems we have two. We have the EC16, uh, the 1640 DC. It's a dual controller system. 
Then we also have the TDS 1648, the 16489U. Okay, and that's a system with a dual Xeon processor and it's scalable to one terabyte of RAM. And next is a P, the product we're talking about today, our featured product. It's a TS85U series. As we talked about, comes with a new Intel Xeon D series. Okay, and um, the RAM scalable to up to 128 gigs of RAM. And then we have our other products. We have our, TV, our TVS EC80U SAS R2 systems come in various sizes, all up to 24 units, 24 uh, bay units. These come with the Xeon E3 processor. Next in line, we have our TS EC80U systems R2. Again, Xeon E3, and these are non SAS systems. And for small, medium, Size businesses, we have our TVS 71U system, the TVS 71U series. Okay, and those come with uh, Intel Pentium processors, and that's either Core i3, i5, or i7 multi core systems. So let's take a look at the rear panel. As you can see here, the drives are located on the rear of the system, as I mentioned. Okay, and there are six, one, two, three, and three on this side, and these are SATA SSDs, SATA SSDs. Okay, next you can see the four standard gigabit Ethernet ports, as well as two 10 gig ports. These are SFP plus, and these are the slots that I had mentioned that are open slots, the four PCIe slots, and here dual power supplies. So now let's talk about our naming rule. And it's very important because um, we need to be able to identify it and to talk about the product. So here is how we kind of differentiate and how we came up with the product name. TS 1885U SKUs. Okay. The T obviously stands for the Turbo, Turbo System, Turbo NAS System, so always keep that in mind. And here's, a, here's the difference, is the E. Always look for that, T, that T-E-S, and the E will give you the Q-E-S option. Okay, we'll always give you that Q-E-S option. The 18 will tell you how many, how many drives are available in the system. In this case, 12 in the front and 6 in the back. 85 is a series, so it's 85U system, the 85U series that I've been speaking about. And the great thing is now we are including the CPU model. Okay, so now you're looking at the D1531 CPU, which is great. It's the Xeon processor D1531, right? Now we can always know what type of CPU it has. So now we know exactly what's inside built in the system. Very transparent. Next would be the RAM, and that's in red. And you can see the RAM indicates, you know, how much uh, memory the system will have and what it comes with. Next in line, you'll see the ECC RAM. If it's not ECC RAM, it will not have an R. And if you look at some of the part numbers down here, you can see the R is ECC RAM. This system is not ECC RAM. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's an 18-base system, 85. Series U, it tells you what the processor is, and it tells you how much RAM and whether or not it is uh, ECC memory or not, respectively, in all of other systems. Okay. Here is a TS 3085U, and again, following the same naming rule. As we can see here, the E stands for the QES. The 30 is going to tell us how many drives it takes or how many bays the system is. So it's a 30 bay system, it can hold 30 drives, 24 in the front, 6 in the back. And it tells you the form, the form factors of those drives, SAS, SATA, it's 2.5. So this is a complete 2.5 system, it takes a SAS, SATA, HCD, SSD in the front, and the back it holds SATA, SSDs, as you can see, 6 of them. 
five series, U, obviously. The U will always tell you that it's a rack mount system. If it doesn't have a U, it's not a rack mount system in the QNAP naming system. The D is a CPU. Again, one of my favorite um, new features or new naming rules is the, the processing name. The actual processing name derived from Intel is now embedded within our product part numbers, which is great and easier for us here at QNAP and QNAP sales and product management to tell you exactly what product we're talking about, right? And next would be the RAM. So now we have the CPU model and how much RAM comes with the system, okay? And it's bundled that way and it's packaged and sold that way. Okay? It's easier to name, it's easier for you to purchase, easy for you to, to look for. And we hope this is gonna help you out in finding the exact system you need for, for yourself or for your customer. It's the new alternative of 12A rack mount systems. The new enhancement for the TS, competitive pricing at the same spec level. So what we've done is, as technology evolves, it becomes better and it becomes more economical, believe it or not. And that's what QNAP is known for. That's what we can do, is getting you a great product at a very reasonable rate, very reasonable price. And let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, we're going to talk about the same spec levels, and I'm going to show you that. They have more options of CPU and RAM, okay, and the additional six caching drives, okay, another benefit. The installation and options of the QTS or the QES, Linux and ZFS. Here's a previous generation NAS system. A lot of you guys have, you guys have installed them, and a lot of you guys are currently running these systems. It's a TVS EC1280U SAS RP. Okay, that sticker price is $5,899 retail. Okay, so now let's take a look at the new generation, the TES systems. Okay, and its starting price. So let's, if we're comparing apples to apples, we would say that the TVS EC1280U SAS RP, okay, it's comparable to the T, the TES. 1885U, okay, the D153116GR, okay, that the TES system comes with a new generation Intel system, six cores versus the 80 series, okay, it also comes with 16 gigs of RAM versus the, the 1280U that came with eight, and the price is a little bit more. It's a hundred bucks more, but look at what you're getting. A better system, a more improved system, a new technology system for right around the same price. So here at the lower end, as you can see, the TS 1885U. Okay, and what you can see here is, again, we've added the CPU, the Intel CPU name, the D1521, inside the uh, product name, inside the product and, and uh, the model number. And this one comes with a new generation Intel, the D1521, four core, okay? And 16 gigs of RAM versus the eight gigs, and the price, 47.99. So again, an excellent system at a very affordable price. And you can see, as our technology improves, our, as our systems improve, we really try to keep them at a comparable price um, to what the existing products are. So if we're saying, hey, you know what, let's we're creating a new product, okay, here's a model match, or here's a replacement, or here's a suggested part number that's going to replace our existing model, we want to keep it around the same price, while at the same time giving you a better, more advanced product. So let's take a look at the comparison. So we're going to look at the TS85U uh, versus the TVS1280, okay? And as you can see here, the CPU is the Xeon processor, the D1531, as I mentioned, versus the, the 1246, okay? A newer processor, more powerful. Here we're talking about, in the third column, you can see the, the RS18017, okay, um, from another product, from another one of, uh, one of the products of the market, and its processing speed. Okay, and the RAM, and you can see again, it starts at a 16 gigs of RAM, and it can go up to 128 gigs of RAM. Okay, the predecessor, the 1280, 
16 gigs of RAM, and you can go up to 32 while still maintaining the same price band. The other guys at 16 gigs ECC can go up to 128. The PCIe in the new uh, 18, the new 1885U, as you can see here, there's four of them, four slots. Whereas the uh, 1880 came with two, as well as the uh, RS18017 comes with two. The drives, the hard drives in the 1885, again, 12 in the front, six in the back. Uh, the TVS is 12. And the, um, the RS18017 is 12 as well. Max hard drives, 140 plus six SSDs. Again, that caching is really important. Give it that turbo speed, right? And the uh, 1280U, you can see, 140 at eight expansions, and the uh, 18017 at 188 expansions. So again, you can see here how we are improving technology while at the same time keeping that price band. Really important for you guys. So the replacement of the uh, SSEC1279U SAS RP, okay, and as we mentioned, continuing to make a better product while maintaining the same pricing. Competitive price at the same spec level, okay? More options for CPU and RAM, okay, with an additional six caching drives in the back. And now you have the option of either using the QTS operating system or the QES operating system, okay? And that price, 8,499, okay? And here we have, again, the model match of the new TES 3085U, the D1548, 32 gigs, the GR. Okay, newer generation Intel, okay, and um, the RAM, again, the, the RAM, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, ECC RAM versus the 8, standard. So you can see here the 8,499 for the previous generation system, and now, the second generation, the next generation system, same price, with newer technology, newer hardware, and a better system. Here's a starting model, the TS3085U. This one comes with the D1521, 16 gigs of RAM. Newer generation Intel, as I mentioned, it's a D1521 four-core Intel system versus the old four core, 16 gigs of RAM versus the old eight gigs of RAM. And it's starting price, 6,699. Here's a comparison. And as you can see, we continue to improve and continue to give you a better product for the same price. The CPU, the cores, we're going up from eight to four. The RAM, we're going up from starting from 32, where it used to be eight. Now, where it used to max out at 32, that's where we start now, and that can go up to 128. PCI slots, PCIe slots, four, where before it only had two, and those two were only used for the 10 gig, the 10 gig option card. The hard drives, as I mentioned, a little bit more options to these hard drives, 12 in the front, six in the back. The 12 in the front can be 12, six gig, right, SAS or SATA. Okay, where in the in the predecessor, in the older system, the 12, 3.5, 12 gig SAS, it was only 12. Now we're giving you six more in the back of the system, and those are two and a half, six gig SSD drives. Okay, so expansion. The expansion is 128 plus 30 SSDs. Where before is 128 at 24. Again, maintaining the same pricing. Accessories. So though you get a though you get a, a product, an entry product, you can always upgrade it as well. Your customer needs more RAM, no worries, you can buy more RAM. If you need to build out the system, add more RAM for yourself, sort of customize it to your needs or to your customer's needs, feel free. You can add more RAM, and again, up to 128. So here are some of the RAM SKUs that you can see, as well as some of the expansion cards, the dual port 10 gig T-Base, okay, 
the dual port 10 gig SFP and the 40 gig SFP. Now, let's talk a little bit about the operating systems. Again, you have the option of using the QTS and or the QES. The QES operating system is based on free BSD. The QTS, which is the QNAP operating system, the one we know, is Linux. The file system of the QES is ZFS. The QTS is EXE4. SIFS, SF, FTP, iSCSI, and NFS, yes, on both of these systems. Snapshot, yes, on both of the operating systems. SnapSync is only available on the QES. Data duplication is only available on the QES. Online data compression, only available on the QES. And again, these are features used in enterprise systems. Respectively, our enterprise operating system is the QES. SSD read cache, uh, read cache only on the QES. On the QTS, it's read and write cache. The Q tier, the Q tiering, the Q tier, the auto tiering, uh, it does not come in the QES. It is standard in the QTS. Application service, virtualization station, web service, multimedia, all those apps are not available on the QES. Again, it's an enterprise level NAS system used only for storage. Where in the QTS, it's more versatile and dynamic, and it does come with those applications. App Center, as I mentioned, uh, no, the QS doesn't come with it because it's only dedicated for enterprise storage. Where the QTS, more versatile and dynamic, does have the ability to add all those apps. So it's an ideal backup destination for the ES1640 dual controller system, the V2. Okay. With the QES ZFS operating system option installed in the TS model, it becomes an ideal backup destination of the dual controller system, the ES1640, the dual active model. By using the snap sync feature, the snapshot on the main ES1640 DC unit can be replicated on, onto the TS over the network. It's easy to deploy, easy to use, and easy to install, and it becomes a really great backup solution. QES with OpenStack integrated. We now work with OpenStack and Platform 9. Okay? The QNAP Cinder Drive in the QES, which is fully integrated in Platform 9 as we know, allows QNAP NAS integration with OpenStack environment safely and easily. Through the QES on the TES, users can simply add the TS85U onto the OpenStack environment as an object storage. Again, we'd be more than happy to explain this to you, show you more information. You can talk to our engineers, and we can walk you through this, as well as our partners at Platform 9 and OpenStack. We'd be more than happy to have a conversation and um, explain this to you in more detail. And that's it for today's introduction of our new products. Uh, drop us an email at usasales at qnap.com. We'd be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Again, my name is Fernando behind of, of QNAP. Thank you very much for, uh, for tuning in today. Thanks.